Let's hope the team will too. Okay, let's see how this draft's gonna go. <laughs> Chat, you're fuck. Chat is so savage sometimes, and I really enjoy watching you guys. I mean, some of those disses are insane. <laughs> I mean, I want you guys to cut it down on the salt, but if I'm laughing my ass off at something, no matter how offensive it is, I'm not gonna ban for it. I'm not gonna say it on stream because we don't associate with that kind of behavior, only I personally kind of do. But let's see what the draft's gonna look like here. I mean, right now, not a lot of strange respect bands or anything. Just kind of chilling, sitting back. I don't mind. I hope you guys don't mind taking things a bit easy here. Okay, so Mongols picking up an Earthshaker. Earthshaker Kunga, that's a lot of synergy, a good amount of chain stun, a uh, good way of initiating as well. I wonder what Mongols' game plan is gonna be though. I mean, the last draft also started off really kinda boring, then. Event was coming out. I hadn't seen that hero for ages, but Radiant team back. I speak for the trees. Ten seconds remaining. Seconds remaining. Uh, okay, Caprice asking last Caprice. match for today. Well, this is the best of three, so potentially two more. Privyat Kester, can you say Babushka, please? I'm not sure if that's an actual Russian telling me that. Okay, yeah. It looks like Russian streams down. We're getting sad, Russians. I thought it was somebody memeing because I already called it before the Russian cast even went down. Ah, here we go again. I mean, I enjoy Russian streams a lot. A lot of funny people. Hello back to Russia. I think about moving there myself. It seems like a really good it seems like a really fun country to be in. Also living prices are cheap and it is fast. Caprice, how often do I have to tell you that stream is delay? I do try to answer so many people wishing me hello from Russia. <laughs> also I think Davi Doc is gonna come back. He's trying to fix his internet problems right now, guys, so I'm from Germany, chat, and all of a sudden this entire game completely escalate. This complete, this entire chat completely escalate. It's every time the same deal with Russian cast going go going down for a minute or two, and all of a sudden, and all of a sudden. Germany gets invaded by Russia again. Just like the good old days. But Mongols, let's talk about their draft here. We finally have something to talk about instead of me memeing a chat. We got a shadow demon, 40 Mongols. 
Huge pick. One of the stronger picks. And... I mean, I've seen Team Sephira, a team who played the last season. This season, sadly, they didn't play. But they did an amazing, like, truly amazing job with the Shadow Demon and... Made that here, made that here work really well as an offlaner. I know it sounds like I'm memeing you guys, but I'm not. Team Sephira made the Shadow Demons work as an offlaner so well that it was first bent against them several times. Meanwhile, Lorem Ipsum, they're gonna go with Rubik. Great if there's so much to steal. Uh, I mean, Kunka spells, they're really good with Rubik in general. The X marks the spot would be the worst one to steal because with the boat and the torrent, you can set both of those up with your own telekinesis. You don't need the X marks the spot to hit them. Makes it so much easier, not even hard timing to it or anything. And a good chain stun there. Okay, Lorem Ipsum now gonna go with Monkey King. Monkey King, Rubik, a lot of synergy. Monkey King, Nature's Prophet, a lot of synergy. And Mongols gonna have to go for one more ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. And the last bit of reserve time being used for Mongols here. I mean, the in the early game they used l a lot of their reserve time to kind of consider everything. Ten seconds remaining. But there is now a terror blade for Mongols here. Terror Blade, Shadow Demon, a lot of good synergy there for some split pushing, for some additional illusions. Chierepacha? What do you want me to say, chat? Chat wants me to say a lot of Russian words. Meanwhile, I gotta focus on the cast, though. I do want to meme with you all day, but I kind of have to focus on Dota. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Need to eat more spicy food. I need to Good. There is a good initiation, there is a good combination of doing physical damage.
Okay, so... We are in. Both teams going for the early smoke. And Lorem Ipsum now. My pro on the safe lane Monkey King there it seems. And once again. BB on the Bloodseeker mid lane. This time around there is a lot more synergy. And honestly, I wonder wh how Mongols plan to win this game. They can either take late game to the point where Terrorblade kinda man fights everyone, but then there's still the Monkey King ultimate, which is so hard to deal with, even for a big Terrorblade, even when he's kinda fat, even when he got, you know, Scotty and all that going on. The Monkey King is still a pick you need to respect, and Mongols, if they are able to get a lot of kills off that Lina, Lina pushing the tempo there and winning the lane against the Bloodseeker, that would be a really good start. Since the problem is Terrorblade kind of relies on being kept at on being kept at range, he kind of relies on getting low health without getting nuked down. This is gonna be a very hard game for him. But Baba Yaga on the Lina with a lot of people to protect her, it's got it's gonna be in a far more comfortable position. From Baba Yaga, the Lina, Baba Yaga getting bullied away by M16 there, but or Solo Tick actually. Don't burn your fingers. So it is his actual name, but um, Baba Yaga, he's doing fine. Holding his mid lane as steady as he can. The Shadow Demon is going to help dominate this lane here. Why, why? Might be dropping here. They are committing a lot to chasing him. Torrent almost on cooldown. Can he sidestep it? Looks like he will. With that, the Rubik is gonna live here. Now, Kuroro coming in. Putting a lot of damage on Proxy. Proxy trying to get out of there. Nice save there, but not gonna do enough. Just bought a little bit of time. Meanwhile, in the middle lane. Baba Yaga still holding his ground, though. This Lina off to a pretty good start. Harass wise, forced out a lot of region. Four people near the mid lane, but. in and this is the scenario where the Earthshaker nerf really comes into play and Reggie taking a lot of damage that's the bound to strike and Rubik will secure the kill so the top lane uh, the top lane is going in favor of Our good stun from Solotic actually saving the life there. 
Instead, it's going to be Reggie going down to. Yeah, same lane, same scenario as the last time. It's always the kill you don't look at. But. That's one kill that Mongol. Сейчас команда Ларыс должна была играть. Они сейчас показывают еще выверенную харизму. заткнуть можно опять же здесь и спарта реализует комбинацию с бладрейтом э, 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 с раптурой и пинком и по итогу да это размен 1 в 3 погодите а фура где умер ну да по итогу это глобальный размен 1 в 3 это очень плохой размен для команды ларем но черт побери это было весело у комментатора истерика да у комментатора истерика а где вебка? Так я ж, у меня нет вебки. Зарплату я трачу на шоколад, на веб-камеру за целую неделю. Мне затратили 0 рублей, хотя не за... Целую неделю за 4 дня мне затратили 0 рублей на веб-камеру, и поэтому у нас даже... lane staying controlled up somewhat by Baba Yaga but needs to make more than that happen let's take a look at the gold net worth here and oh boy that monkey king is big as hell I mean I knew he had free farm and stuff but he actually he actually he has a way better time than Terrorblade right now and that's gonna be dangerous because Terrorblade is really weak to monkey king before the Terrorblade Ultimate remake sends, Monkey King can just bounce and strike him down from really high health. And Baba Yaga almost getting a kill on BB there. Instead, ba instead Baba Yaga is going to be the one going down. Now Kuroro trying to get out of there will succeed. It looks like Reggie's still on the chase. But gets sprouted in and might actually get killed off as well. Sankey will go down. A return kill there on... Solo tick, but it's just solo tick. Baba Yaga much needed that kill, but still. I mean, the one good thing for Mongols is they're giving the Terrorblade a lot of farm and a lot of space. So, 
Retribution, he loves base to farm. It was, or actually it is, Baba, Baba Yaga's task to give him that space on the Lina, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be super difficult, especially against this fed of Monkey King, who's great against Lina, who's great against Terrorblade, who's great at ganking people at exactly this stage of the game, and look at that. He finds Terrorblade, getting those Jingu stacks up, and he gets killed off by Kuroro there with the Nate's Prophet Ultimate. So, my pro got another kill on proxy. Meanwhile, BB is being gone, but BB is gonna live. Might actually be able to enable the uh, return kill here. Will not do so as the TP out from Shadow Demon there is gonna happen in time. He had an insta TP and. Lorem are off to a great start once again, but Mongols not out of it yet. Retribution doing whatever he can. Okay, and it looks like we got a bit of fight going on. Sanki is just gonna go down here to Kuroro. And I mean, he can't sacrifice himself to allow his team to get away, but now with the rupture, Earthshaker isn't gonna get away for sure. Proxy might be able to live, but look at that. BB. A lot of move speed there, sidestepping the torrent perfectly, and Proxy now taking a lot of damage. They're just gonna keep chasing this Kunka with the racing car, Bloodseeker, Bloodseeker. Too fast to torrent. And now Lorem, they're just getting one big objective done after another, and Retribution, he does know what he's doing, he does know he needs to farm. He is gonna go for a Mask of Madness. Meanwhile, the mid lane is gonna... Okay, that's actually a huge kill for Reggie there. Wait, how much did he commit? Did he... Yeah, thought so. Had to use the Echo Slam there. Meanwhile, the mid lane... Everything seems to be going fine for now. So, we finally get a bit of breathing room. Isn't that nice? Finally, a couple of seconds without people dying. Terrorblade still farming up. He's got the Mask of Madness. Perfect item for flash farming. But I don't think a single item can be powerful enough to keep Mongols in the game in the game by that big of a margin. Also, chat, I really wish I would be living in the Middle Ages right now. That time back when salt was used as a currency, because then this chat would be making me rich. Okay, Kuroro, gonna go down. That's a really big kill streak. Ended there and Retribution on the Terrorblade. Farming up insanely fast. The Radiant Courier did get killed off, but... Honestly, right now, all Mongols need is farm on the Terrorblade. That's what this entire game is about. How much farm can Terrorblade get? How much farm is this guy going to be able to take for himself? And I mean this Illu push threat seems to kind of work out. Meanwhile Proxy got killed up on the mid lane. Baba Yaga manages to get out. And the tier 2 is taking a whole lot of damage. They have to fortify here. So the, the Terrorblade strat it is working to some extent actually. 
Retribution, of course, needs a lot of farm, but the ability to get a couple of return towers, you know, the fact that you almost pushed down a tier 2 tower, if they can get that and get a solid tower advantage running, then Lorem's gold advantage and their good start is going to be mitigatable. Still one problem, the 2 and 0 oh My Pro Monkey King. And that's a big problem, because ultimate is super powerful, but... Other than that, there's definitely some comeback potential. The Bloodseeker, he's in a decent spot, but... Bloodseeker really depends on the Monkey King ultimate, not the other way around. Okay, so Lorem BB on the Bloodseeker getting good farm. Monkey King going for the Saint Majasha build. Kuroro, somewhat decent start here. Not quite insanely fed yet. And meanwhile, Retribution, he's just doing his best to farm up. It's really gonna be up to him. He is sitting at top of the network, but not quite by the margin he'd like to. Lorem still a total of 3k ahead. Baba Yaga especially underwhelming on the Lina. I mean, he makes the right call there by going for the Eules, but even an Eules can only prevent so much damage from coming out into you. BB. Got taken low health, got prevented from fighting there, but still Baba Yaga gonna go down, Reggie gonna go down, and... Sanki, even if he gets away, this was not quite the space create, this was not even enough space for Terror Blade. He needed a bit more there, and fortification just being committed. Terrorblade, he wants this middle tower, he wants to kill there as well, but has to play it really carefully. He will get the middle tower, but if he goes down here, it could be devastating. The ship comes on in onto two, allowing Retribution to try and walk out of there. Retribution now about to turn, but he gets stun locked up. And see, remember what I told you guys about, uh, about the Boundless Strike and why Monkey King was so dangerous? There you have it. Okay, wait. Echo Slam with the ancient with the ancient stack doing some work that I completely missed that one as the blink deck just got revealed, but that's a good way of putting a blink to use even if you didn't have the best of starts. Reggie still managed to make it happen there and how he did. Monkey King Ultimate now coming out, look at the damage that does within the first half second onto Sanki. Just imagine once that gets procced when you have somebody locked down. So yeah, that kill on Bloodseek definitely worth the suicide for Earthshaker there. Retribution still kind of struggling to farm. BB at least shut down. He's gonna go for a Radiance this game around because now there actually is enough AoE damage to justify the Radiance. I keep explaining this every game. Radiance if you have AoE damage. No Radiance if you don't have any, you know, big AoE damage combos. But yeah, Bloodseek in general is just super popular, so... Okay, Roxy doing his best to live for as long as he can there. Gets magnetized down, still a nice return kill on Solitic there, especially because of who that kill went, went to, so... This Terror Blade, he is eventually going to get there. But the problem is my pro. They've had a couple, of, I mean... They've had a couple of good Echo Slams on the side of Mongols, but they need to kill off this Monkey King. 
They do need to get a good initiation on him, kill him off and keep him down. That's the only way to get a good way of coming back into this game. Also, Earth Spirit Kick plus Rupture is not a whole lot of nuke damage compared to Pugna nukes. It's literally the same as the Nether Blast from Pugna connecting in terms of damage. What makes it so overpowered is that you give Bloodseeker reliable damage. You could, as, you could as well go any hero with nuke damage instead of the Earth Spirit. I mean, let's take for example, um, hmm, actually, did you could run a Puck instead of the Earth Spirit, and you would still get the same effect out of it. So it's not the Earth Spirit who is overpowered. TNT on the Rubik now gonna go down. Reggie just getting that kill and. 